You better. You? Out of my funeral. Out of my funeral. You over there. Hold on one second. What are you doing? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing, dumb fuck? Get the fuck over before you find out. Stop pretending you're a police officer. Listen, Stop motherfucker, it. I know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. What you need to do is figure it the fuck out before you start talking shit and cutting us off. I'm not do, cutting anyone. Go ahead and pull your little phone out. I'm not cutting Do your little anyone. Google search and figure out what we're doing and what I we legally what allow. Doing. Good. Then back off and give us room. I'm not, You're a, I'm not interfering with you at all. You are by you are running blocking, along. You've been blocking traffic. Yeah, I need you to stay to the side, sir. Dude. That's what the legal I law is. Go back and look it up. 316. Call on Good. Call, call it. Now. Please. 911 right now. I'm not calling 911. Go ahead. Call the 911 right now. I'm not going to call 911. Tell them that it's, it's on video, emergency. too. Let them know all of us it's on video. We also you have your tag number. Traffic. So please let me know. Escort to your What? How are you today? I'm 
good. How are you? You must have missed that it's 45 through there. And then you use the turning lane to cut through traffic. Yeah. I understand you're in a nice car and everything, but let's be a little nice more car. mature the way you drive. It. Let's nice drive car. the right way are you, then. Are you a cop? Don't worry about what I am because oh, no. I'm a state agent. So yeah, well, what you not. need to do is make sure you're doing the right thing, fuck boy. with that bullshit, but he ain't about that life. Huh? Yeah. That's real nice. Yeah, I know. The way you almost hit me, fuck boy, yeah, is the way it's professional, bitch ass. You're not a cop. You wanna fight? You're violating the fucking rule too. How's you that? You don't even act like you're fucking stopping me. I didn't That's pull you over. Thing. Did I make a traffic fuck stop off. on you, fuck boy? Fuck off, yeah. Boy. You're lucky I don't get out and beat. Come on, let's go, bitch. Get out your fucking car. Let's go. Fuck let's boy. go. Come on. Fuck boy. Fuck boy. Get out. I'm calling you out, bitch. Come on, follow me, motherfucker. That's what I thought. Let's go. Yeah, Let's get go. out anytime. I got off my bike. Let's go. Okay, fucker. Follow me, motherfucker. Oh, anywhere you want to go. Right there. We go straight, bitch. Right Play three, go pussy on. pup. Go ahead. Just, we're gonna try to find out who, like, what this is. Oh, we're not okay. saying you don't. Yeah. Oh, so, well, I want to verify that. So, you know what? I'll have my sergeant come out here. Excuse me, thirty-five. This guy's not happy. Can you have a uh, Robert one come out here, please? This has never happened before. Yeah, but we've never even heard of the. He just told you. you can right, that, that's fine. Have brochures and cards. That's what I don't do. That's fine. People are concerned, so that's that's how, that's how we're here doing our job. It's not. It's not a huge deal like at all. Like we're just trying to figure out what. Right. What statue are we? Yeah, he was here. What statue? What are we violating? Well, if you're not law enforcement or certified, then we have a problem. How's that? Because you can't open carry and all that. I'm not open carry. What is that on your head? Florida statute 972. that I can open carry a less lethal open device at any time in uniform. Oh, is that not a gun? That is correct. It's okay. less lethal. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Yeah. Okay, it looks like a gun. It's on your head. Well, I totally so understand. That, and I'm, so... I'm happy to answer your question. Okay. I'll so. get you out of the road. Um, definitely more. She's in school or whatever, but... You know, we asked her the IDs to verify who they are, and he's super confrontational. He's like, I, you know, I know my statues, and he's like, I'm being nice, but I said him, and, you know, he's like, oh, no, it's just you guys, you Yeah, yeah, we, we ran the DF attack, and that's how I knew who was coming out of the, 
out of uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, of course, in a uniform. He's walking out of here with something that looks like a gun. He's got two sets of handcuffs. You know, he's got a radio. Yeah, it's, but it says Metro State. What does the front of it say? Metro State vehicle protection unit. But, I mean, the bike's got lights on it. It's got... Um, yeah, it, it, there, there's nothing that says police on it, but right now he's in a 41 with, you know, the U.S. Cup and all that stuff, so, uh, but it, it's just, you know, he looks like one, had, had I not known, I, I mean, I would have thought he was one of us, and I probably would even have given him two looks, you know, I mean, have we not gotten this call, because there's tons of security in for, but, you know, this, this is just the issue of where to find who he is, you know, and I said, I said, let me show you something. I showed him his DL picture. I said, is this you? I said, this is you. We see that it's you. And then he went into the whole sex with kind of thing, because I did not even bring that up at all. But now he's coughing a 41 with all these people down here. So they probably have more information on everybody than I do. Because every time I leave, so. because I see that I own a house in Egypt, so every time I leave the country and come back, yeah. they keep me for good a couple hours in customs and immigration. So of course they have more why do they keep you? Because of where you yeah, went? make sure I'm not bringing guns and bombs and because, I, because I'm actually Muslim and I own oh, a house okay. in Egypt. So oh, okay. I'm, I'm a terrorist. So. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know anything about that, the airport aspect of it. I mean, Every I don't know. Every time we come back, it's, it's, we have to stay in the airport for almost two, three hours. So you've had this company for eight years, and this has happened before. Okay. All the time. Well, well it makes sense. Okay. So, I mean, when we get the call, it comes out, like, ten times more no, no, I, dramatic yeah, than what it like is. We have a, well, a downtown po well yeah, yeah, possibly, you know, and then they, like, put all this information out, like, the information that they get, and we're like, oh, my God, you know. Of course, is it going to be that situation? Probably not. So, you know, but you were upset.
on my motorcycle. Sorry, you want me to go back to my motorcycle? You want me to stand over here? Sorry. Do you want to cycle out? I can't because unless you're going to put one of your cruisers here and hold this vehicle, I, I can't do that. Here. Sorry, I'm going to piss you off. Sorry, I'm not trying to piss you off. Get your eyes. See, you want to go? Okay. Registration, we can move forward. Anything in your shoes?
husband. He's coming downstairs. Okay, your husband's being about to be arrested. Your husband's about to be arrested. What is he doing? Give me a favor. Turn around. Hold on. He has a weapon behind you. He has a weapon on him. 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 What is this guy doing? My badge. Where's my badge? Where's my badge, Tanya? I have my badge and my information in the call order. Yes. Okay, give us one. You need to come down for us. Man, we figured things out. It's going to be for the best. Stop him first. Hey, he's just going to have we just talked to his supervisor, and they said that they were, he was instructed by not the property owner, by the female, but the little girl that came out yelled at my wife. She's the one that called the number. She's the one that called the number, not the property supervisor. So when she came running down here, because I was getting the phone to come behind her, he had the screwdriver in his hand. So I threw the chair, and it hit the boom of the truck. So then he drove away. Then she comes out and starts screaming at us, saying that she's the super chief. Some girl, some girl that lives here. But we're renting from a, a real estate company that's legal. It's like you book them through booking.com. Yeah. And they said we can legally park here. So far, everything, the business, everything. Since you've been here. My wife runs down. He pulls the long screwdriver, one of those more screwdrivers. It's very long in the back of the truck starts going towards me, so I immediately throw the chair. When he showed back up, I did not I see the see unit, it. and I seen the oh, unit, I, I couldn't even defend myself. So here's the deal. Property manager of the entire building wanted this vehicle towed. She, they don't have the agreement you had with the Airbnb. That's the problem. So they need to decide what the hell is going on. I understand. Okay? Now, if you have a written agreement and an email or something, I do. I have the emails and all the things. Do you, do you have the, like, lease and agreement? I do. Right on my phone. I'm, I'm 15. All right, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna show, show you. We're going to uncuff you. And we want to see that agreement, okay? Yes, sir. I want to file charges right now. Officer, he pulled a weapon on my wife. You don't throw a chair at somebody, all right? He pulled a weapon on my wife. Can I get the access to the building? You have to take my phone. This is crazy. Ronya, you need to file a statement. He pulled the screwdriver on you right now. File. Tell that officer you want to file a complaint that he pulled that screwdriver on you right now. He, their dispatcher even said he pulled it on you, and she said it was for the linkage. Oh, come on, guys. This is, this is bullshit. We were protecting ourselves. I don't give a this guy is a police officer. Your husband isn't going to want that That's a police right there. Look at that. He owns Metro State, sir. This police on his bed, right? He does. He should know better. You don't do it here just to get the attention. I'm not even trying to defend me. I ran like this. And he was trying to defend me. Because my first instinct, I was going down. Probably pull out a knife and yourself. And he pulled out something. That you're gonna end he up pulled something. out. I was just trying to knock on his window, you know, yeah. to get his attention. And he pulled something. Yeah. Yeah, that's not even funny. He pulled what? The driver. Yeah, he pulled saying. something. Like, oh my God, you're kidding me. Here he is right over here. We got it. I got to hear that story. See, I didn't know. Give me one second. 
second, all right? I'm a, give me one second. Take me to jail. Give me one second. I'm going to get a sergeant for you. You want to talk to him? Yes or no? I need, I need you to calm down then. Uh, it's a long screwdriver, orange handle. How do I know he has it if he didn't pull it on us? Long screwdriver, orange handle. Come on. How do I know he has it if he didn't pull it on me? Oh, he wants to talk to you. Stay certified federal agents. Well, then why is he acting like such a moron? Yeah, right. And just trying to make up shit. Mm. Please. You've got to talk to this guy then and see if you can talk him to apologize, do whatever you've got to do so he doesn't press the charges at this time. You're going to have to eat humble pie. Yes, because you lost, you let your temper get the best of you in this one. But Sergeant, is the screwdriver not in the truck? The, tr the tr screwdriver was in the back. He takes it. He uses it to take. Every, everything's on camera. He uses it to take uh, take but off. Sergeant, the, when I called his supervisor just now, they said he wasn't trying to hook up our vehicle. So when he came back, I mean, well, that doesn't matter. What matters right now, I, I, what I, we're I, talking about, is the threats and all that stuff. And if you're being aggressive and wild. You gotta control your temper. Roger. So why don't you? Why don't we talk to him and see if you can talk to him? Can yes. you apologize about being snotty? Yes, sir. And just eat humble pie. And I'm doing this because you're an officer. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Then you gotta. You don't want to jeopardize your job. You gotta just eat humble pie on this one and just say you're sorry, okay? Yes, and we'll just give him a report. Hopefully it'll go go that route. How are you with that? Sounds good. We'll try, sir. So like, the property manager, he has the property manager's right. number. He has everything on record. He's calling him right now. Everything that happened. Uh, this so, guy, this guy's, we're going to, could we do a report for you? This guy's saying wants to apologize. Mm -hmm. could we go that route, would be, you'll be okay as long as we cover you with the report? For the damage of the vehicle, the curl for him throwing the chairs at the truck? Yeah. As long as my boss gets that, I'm cool with it. Okay. okay. All right. So... He has to, he has to, because he damaged the vehicle. That's criminal damage right there on top of it. You want to talk to him? Roger, yes, sir. Hey, come on. Uh, Carmel's rolling on this one. He wants to apologize to the guy. The guy said it would be okay if we just did a report, but it's damage to the property. Come on out. Is it okay if we take him out? Is it okay? You want to do this, Brown? Uh, it's it's our job. Good job. Uh, you are here, so yeah. I to Mario, is that all right by you? Yeah. Sorry. That's yeah, okay. it's good. All right. I mean, if he's going to apologize, if that's what he's saying, you want to handle it accordingly amongst each other. Okay. You, he wants to talk to you then. I am sorry. I didn't know who you were at first, and then when you're trying to hook up, I'm screaming down. You heard me screaming. I was trying to stop you from doing it because we're allowed to be there. And I don't know where the communication error is happening. How um, these people are calling the police or the towing. I mean, you're you're just. As I understand you're just doing your job. But what, when you pull the screwdriver, I, dude, I, I just. I'm worried about my wife's safety. He's not pulling the screwdriver to attack anybody. Why would he? I'm, I'm, I'm going to press it down. Because you're lying. I never I'm saw your wife. Right, right. Calm, calm down. Calm down. Listen, listen to me for a minute. Do you yes. think he'd actually pull a screwdriver on a woman? Come on. She's like a quarter of the size. That's silly. No. I'm sorry. All right, brother, I, I swear I am sorry. Right. We got to do the report. You got to cover that damage for him. You know, you, you know, I understand you're frustrated, but you got to calm down with the temper. Roger, this is the best of all things. Roger, sir. But we're going to give him the report. Okay. All right? Yes, sir. You got, you got, you all, what's so that office? Time is not a king? No, it's not a king. Okay. But we will do a, um, the card and all that. Okay. We'll do that. We're going to do a, we'll uh, all your information. Roger. Okay. Just an information report. No, Doesn't fine. go anywhere. Roger. All right? Stay in Yes, it stays yeah. within our department, but we'll know, you know, if, if he's not happy down the line and stuff, he'll have that report. Gotcha. So. Okay. Okay. You okay, like it, like it is. Yeah, that's Uh, just my opinion. Why would you throw a chair that high?
Yeah, so we'll just make it a king then, if you, that's what you feel better about. And then he can figure it out with his job after. Because okay. I don't want this to hit us later. All right, gotcha. We got to go, dude. It's going to be a king. Sar go. Sergeant. Sergeant. You know why? Did you I didn't know you threatened him with a weapon. No, there. I didn't threaten him. I said he was threatening me with the, his, my wife. Come on, Sergeant. 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 Please, Sergeant. We're not going to call your work or nothing, but no, you're going to get him in the car. Sergeant. You threw, and then you threw a chair when the officers are still around. It's too much. I didn't realize the gravity. I didn't. They already told me. You already told me you threw the chair. At no time did I throw it at him. He threw it. Yeah. He threw it and could have hit him, so you know, he can explain that to the judge. I'm sorry. I, I, you know what? I didn't realize. When I, the more I talked about it, the more nasty it got. It's just, it's just like yeah, it's embarrassing. It's just his, his, his ignorance. You know, a lot of times these tow trucks are dirty, but yeah, but, but this this is yeah. So in this situation, it's not that way. So, all right. Even if it is, it doesn't justify. Top of the car. I that's my chair. So as far as you know, he's not a cop. It doesn't justify. Top of the car. I that's my chair. So as far as you know, he's not a cop. Okay, so he's not. At first he said he was a police officer. At first he did. As soon as we were posting on the police officer, then he changed his mind and said he's a federal special agent or cop. You want the most opportunity to get out of here. You can't tell people you're the police. I didn't say police. I swear to God. Ronnie, where's my... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yelling. This is why you got in trouble. Throwing the chairs. Now, I'm sorry up there. Could have killed somebody. Sorry, I never said I was police. I said I was Metro State. I have my badge and ID in my wallet. I'm Metro State in Orlando, Florida. I'm not a police officer. I'm a state approved certified agent for the state for what we do. What do you, what do, you do? We do high risk details, protection agency services, death and funeral escorts, ambulance services, on and on and on. The list goes on. Tow services. That's how I know the statute for tow truck drivers pulling weapons when I tell them to drop the beat. It wasn't pulling a weapon. Then, Sergeant, if you want to stop, please, Sergeant, talk to me. What's your stop, Sergeant! Today's date is Friday, September the 13th, 2019. The time is approximately 14.35 hours. Uh, this is Detective Jim with the Windermere Police Department. I'm currently at the police department. Uh, I'm going to be taking a statement uh, complaint uh, from uh, Jeremy Charles DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt is a white male. His birth date is 210 of 1980. Also present during the statement is his attorney, Amir Ladon. I haven't been in trouble in 10 years, Detective. Now this is this is video. You've not been arrested at all in 10 years? Other than the registration thing, yes. Huh? Other than the registration that Miss got me in trouble for, yes, you're right. That's the only time in 10 years you've been arrested? Yes. You were arrested in Chicago recently? I was detained for throwing a chair, yes, while a man was trying to repossess a rental car. Okay. We rented a car. A man with an unmarked tow truck that has no markings on it is going into our truck that we rented. I'm on the so sixth the report, floor. The report's not going to say that you're on the fourth floor flinging chairs. Sixth floor. Sixth floor flinging chairs at the guy. Screaming, hey, stop, what are you doing? Okay. And then my wife calling the police. Yes, okay. yes. What did the police do when they got there? They got there and they said, I can't fling chairs. And actually, they, were, they let me go, but then the gentleman said, no, I feel like I need to press charges. So did they arrest you? They took me down to a substation and then let me go. So they didn't book you? You don't have to pay no, no court appearance or anything like that? They have a court appearance, but it wasn't booked or anything like that.